Hello there and welcome to our review of the Panasonic Lumix G6. The G6 is designed to tempt users away from DSLR cameras, so does it do enough? We'll find out in our review. The Lumix G6 features a 16.05 megapixel live MOS sensor with an ISO range from 160 to 12,800. This can be expanded to 25,600. It also shoots full HD video in AVC HD or MP4, and it's also got Wi-Fi connectivity as well as NFC. So the Lumix uh, G6 sports a rather hunched design compared to the G5, but it makes a pretty nice camera. It's got a nice comfortable hand grip, so you get a really good comfortable hold. It's finished predominantly in a matte plastic, and overall it feels pretty good, though it does feel a little bit of a step back from the G5, which had a metal or aluminium top plate to give a more rugged feel. And the buttons don't have quite that same tactile, satisfying feel as the G5. Overall though, it's very comfortable to hold, and it's got loads of exterior buttons for quick access, including five function buttons. The G6's performance in single AF is really impressive, locking onto subjects really quickly. Uh, in continuous mode and using AF tracking, it follows the subject nicely across the frame, but still could be a bit quicker. We've also got the EVF, which gives a nice 100% coverage, so it doesn't feel quite as tunnel-like as with the DSLR, while the actual representation is nice and crisp and bright. So as well as the really good electronic viewfind, you've got this excellent three inch pull out very angle screen. So not only does it give you a nice crisp display, it's also got touchscreen functionality, allowing you to set a variety of controls on the camera should you wish. So you can just tap the camera to quickly go through the menu and you can also pinch and zoom images when reviewing and just flick through them nice and easily like that. So while a lot of DSLR rivals can probably just shoot at around five frames a second in burst shooting, the G6 can shoot up to seven frames a second. This is only capable for eight frames shooting raw, but it's a bit more impressive when you're shooting JPEGs when you can shoot 20 frames consecutively before the buffer slows up. Our lab tests reveal the Lumix G6 to deliver punchy, vibrant and rich colours at base ISOs that were maintained until ISO 6400, where after that colours appeared a little more muted. Looking at our resolution charts, and the G6 is capable of resolving just under 24 lines per millimetre at a base ISO of 160, dropping to a still respectable 20 lines per millimetre at ISO 6400. Even with a smaller sensor size over its DSLR rivals, the Panasonic G6 delivers smooth, noise-free results that are much for a relative DSLR between ISO 160 to 1600. Raw files naturally retain more sharpness, while it's possible to control image noise in Adobe Camera Raw to deliver more usable results at ISO 6400. If you're looking for similar DSLR performance and image quality, but in a smaller body, then the G6 is the perfect option. And for the full review, log on to whatdigitalcamera.com.